2008, of the of the Republican big Republican presidential uh, candidates, they were asked, uh, uh, "How many of you believe in in Darwinian biological evolution?" Two thirds or three quarters said, "I do." 2012, same question asked, same group of people, Republican presidential candidates. It was already down to a third. 2016. The 17 people, uh, main candidates for the Republican nomination, asked, do you believe in evolution? One, Jeb Bush, brave Jeb Bush, said he did. But, he said, uh, walking it back even as he said it, uh, I'm not sure it should be taught in our public schools, and if it is, it should be taught along with creationism. So, uh, from 2008 to 2016, that was the change, and that change is, I don't believe all those people believed what they said. I, I don't think all of them disbelieve in evolution, some of them, but they were all obliged to, to say yes to, to falsehood and magical thinking of this religious kind, um, and, and that's where it becomes problematic. Uh, America has always been a Christian nation. That, that meant a very different thing a hundred years ago or even 50 years ago than it means today. Uh, I grew up not uh, going to church very often at all and not with much religious education, but all of my friends were, were weekly regular churchgoers of various kinds. Christian Protestant religion became extreme, became uh, more magical and supernatural in its beliefs and practices in America than than it had been in hundreds of years, uh, and, and, and more so than it is anywhere else in the developed world. So you have that happening. At the same time, not coincidentally, you have the Republican Party beginning, certainly by 30 years ago, uh, becoming more and more a party of those ex religiously extreme Protestants. So, it, it one thing that has happened, and one thing that has led, I think, the Republican Party to accept fantasy and, 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 and wishful untruth more and more into its approach to policy, whether it's climate change or, or, or the idea that uh, a secret Muslim conspiracy is about to replace our constitutional judiciary system with Sharia law or, or any number of other simply untrue uh, uh, tenets of, of, of Republicanism. All these things, which were nutty fringe ideas as recently as 30 years ago, are now in the Republican mainstream. I think there's a connection. I think once you have a political party, more and more of whose members are, uh, believe in, in, in religious and supernatural fantasies of, of a more and more extravagant kind, it, it stands to reason, or to unreason, that uh, you will have a party that is more and more inclined to embrace the fantastical in its politics and policy. Believe whatever you want in the privacy of your home, in the privacy of your family, in the privacy of your church. But when it bleeds over, as it inevitably has done in America, to how we manage and construct uh, our, our economy and our society, uh, we're in trouble.